Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another Friday Assembly from St. Mary's Church. It's great to be back with you once again. I hope you've managed to have some fun this week despite our poor weather. For this morning's Assembly, we're going to look at the theme of respect, which is the core value of the school this term. Now, to look at respect, I'm going to put on a little video here by Kid President, who just shows us how to respect each other. So let's just watch that now, and I'll do a little talk afterwards. How to disagree with people. Not that you need any help. There's lots of stuff to disagree on if you're looking for it. Cake versus pie. Apples or oranges. This sports team versus this sports team. Which movie star is better? Ryan Goose Baby or Charming Tater? I don't know. Some people even argue for tree. You just standing there, huh? Listen to this opinion. I got an opinion. Who am I to judge though? Maybe that tree says something about his mama. I'm just saying, some people just get worked up about anything. Even One Direction, you're not all going the same direction anymore. Bye-bye, Zane. Everyone loved you. You broke everyone's heart. Bye-bye. <laughs> Some people argue about which animal is better. Cat, dog, elephant, or donkey. Eh? Anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. You're not always going to agree. Even with the most agreeable person in the world. Just saying. Just saying. So look, in a world with so many things to disagree on, we gotta learn how to disagree without making everybody feel terrible. Step one, treat people like they're people, people. I know, seems pretty simple. But in a heated argument, you can forget that you're talking to a person, a human being, someone who has a heartbeat. Unless you're arguing with a tree, um, that's, that's a whole other problem. I can't help you there. Step two, listen, listen, listen. Listen, before trying to change someone's opinion, take time to listen to them, even if what they say does not make sense. That's the power of treating someone like a person. You gotta hear them out. You got two ears and one nose for a reason. You gotta listen more than you smell. I'm pretty sure that's not right. Keep listening. Step three, pause, breathe, love. When you disagree, you're gonna to want to do some crazy stuff, like yell, or write and release a whole entire album outlining that you're right and they're wrong. Don't do it. Instead, you gotta pause, breathe, love. It's okay to disagree. It's not okay to be mean. Don't say it until you can say it with love. There's plenty of legit stuff to be mad at in the world. This life stuff, it's hard. Let's not just spend our time here being mad at each other. You don't have to see eye to eye to work shoulder to shoulder, people. Step four. Are you stuck in an argument? Distract them. Look, I know we don't see eye to eye, but baby koalas are awesome. But we weren't talking about that. Did you see it? Yeah. Three words. Baby koalas. That's two words. All you want to do is disagree. Just enjoy the koala babies, man. Baby koalas bring peace. Step five. Acceptance. Here's something you gotta accept. Not everybody's the same. And that's a good thing. I mean, imagine the world with just full of Rain Wilsons. Nightmare, right? I'm just kidding, Graham Williams. You're a beautiful and amazing specimen. <laughs> I'm just saying, we need pride. We need disagreement. We may not like it, but we need each other. We just gotta learn to be more awesome to each other. It's like what Nelson Mandela said. If you wanna make peace with your enemy, you have to work with your enemy. And then he becomes your partner. And then there's Gandhi, he said, honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. I mean, both of them have disagreements with people. Well, it's not always easy, but they try to treat people like they're people, people. We can also look to the words of somebody else. It's an amazing Pokemon, Meow. We do have a lot in common. The same air, the same earth, the same sky. Maybe if we start looking at what's the same, instead of always looking at what's different. Well, who knows? Yeah, that's from the Pokemon movie. So it has to be true. It is true, you know it is. Grown-ups, we kids have been watching you. We've been learning how to disagree with people by watching you. We've seen some healthy disagreements and also lots of um, recent disagreements. Nobody wins when all we want to do is win. We got a whole world to make more awesome. No time to be yelling back and forth to each other. Maybe we should stop, breathe, love. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. We can disagree, but we can't let it make us forget. Step six. Dance. <laughs> I love the message and challenge that Kid President gives us in this video. You see, lots of us know what the word respect means. What lots of us don't know is how to do it properly. 
You see, that idea of loving someone who is different from us is a very difficult thing to do, especially when we think we're right and they're wrong. Respect is one of these powerful words when done can change not just relationships, but societies. In the Bible, when Jesus was talking to his disciples, they asked him, what is the greatest commandment? And so he told them to love God with all your heart, all your soul and all your mind, and also to love your neighbor as yourself. That message to love your neighbor as yourself is one of the most important things that we can ever do. See, loving your neighbor doesn't mean just loving those who are like you. It means loving those who are different. When we listen to those that are different from us, we show them respect. It doesn't mean we have to agree with them. But you see, God loves us all equally. And he's okay that not all of us will agree on everything the same. But what he's not okay with is when we don't love each other and show each other respect. When we hate each other, when we try and hurt one another, when we're rude to one another. This last two weeks, you've had to be challenged to work differently from what you normally do, which means many of you are working in a classroom in a different way than you normally would, and many of you are working from home with parents and guardians, and I'm sure you've faced many challenges. But you have to learn that word respect and how to show it to each other, because we know those who are trying their best for you want you to do the best you can. So it means that there will be difficult times where you mightn't want to do the work, where you might be struggling, or you might just feel a little bit angry. But that word respect of listening, of caring, of being polite, when we show that, we make a difference to each other. So let me just finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, as we think of the word respect, Lord, let us not just think of it. Help us to live it out. Help us to show respect to our teachers, to our parents, to our guardians. Help us to show respect to those who are different from us. To be able to listen to voices that aren't the same as ours, but for us to respond in a way that's loving, even though we might not agree. Help us to grasp what it means to show respect so that we can change the world that we live in. Amen.